Hi everyone, welcome to Pulse of the Port. I'm your host, Sean Horish, and today we are at International Transportation Service. Since 1971, they have forged a reputation as one of the world's greenest and most efficient cargo terminals. In 2006, ITS signed a green lease with the Port of Long Beach, putting into motion some incredible projects throughout the terminal that will benefit our economy while improving air quality. One of those projects is replacing all of their old buildings with new green LEED certified buildings. Now here with us is Jerry Mailer, the Director of Maintenance and Repair. Jerry, thanks for joining us. Sean, welcome to IPS. Thank you very much. Now tell us all, what does LEED stand for? LEED stands for our leadership in energy with a environmental design in mind. Well, what it does, it saves us money big time. It saves us money with a reduction in energy, water efficiency, and also it reduces the CO2 emissions. So why are you replacing all your old buildings? Well, our old buildings were over 40 years old. We've been here since 1971. They got old, we outgrew them. Now these complexes are bringing us much more efficiency. Everybody's much more relaxed, morale is great. I mean, working in old buildings for many, many years and to have this, it really was a morale booster big time. Thank you, Jerry. That kind of green focus isn't just limited to ITS. Many port partners are doing their best to clean up our air while enhancing efficiency. In fact, the tugboat in our next story takes that combination to a whole new level. Check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce the MV Robert Franco, a powerful and sophisticated tugboat operated by Harley Marine Services. The Robert Franco is 103 feet 9 inches to be exact, but don't let the size of this little boat fool you. Its job is to bring in massive cargo vessels, some the size of four football fields in length, safely to the Port of Long Beach. We want to be efficient, we want to have technology, and we really want to be safe. And as the ships are getting bigger, we have to change too. We developed the Robert Franco to handle that and the big tankers. We are ready for the new technology that the ports customers are using. We've been upgrading all of our engines to tier three. Anything we build new is tier three or four. That's very important. Inside the belly of this beast, you'll find the cleanest engine room around, literally. This tier three Caterpillar engine cranks out 6,800 horsepower, making it the most powerful tug ever in San Pedro Bay. But what's really impressive is that tier three means it does all that while reducing emissions 90% from previous models, mean and green. We share the same vision and philosophy as support. We want to be environmentally friendly. We don't wait till the very end. Even though it's not a requirement now to be tier three this very moment, we're ahead of that curve. This is what allows the Robert Franco to guide these massive cargo vessels into the port of Long Beach. This is a state-of-the-art Rolls-Royce Z-Drive system. It allows the captain of this vessel to maneuver the Robert Franco in any direction, even a full 360. We're on the bridge with Captain Josiah Layfield, who's been driving these tugboats for 16 years now. How does this stack up to anything else you've driven? This is the, the highest horsepower, best handling tugboat I've ever been on. We're doing 20% power where other boats have to use half power, three quarters power. We have a lot of reserve. And with the horsepower, we, we, when we're using 26% power during ship jobs, it's less emissions, obviously. So this thing can almost do, uh, you can say I can do as much with my little finger than most boats can do with their whole hand, Absolutely. right? Absolutely, yeah. This is the shore power input. It allows them to plug in while at berth and run all of the Robert Franco systems while creating zero emissions. I understand it's not typical for most tug companies to have shore power. Why is it such a priority for Harley Marine Services? Uh, Harley Marine Services has tried to be an environmental leader. Uh, all the way up and down the coast, we've installed shore power for our boats, all of our fleet, and all of our ports. Well, we can run the ship systems. Uh, without the propulsion, no engines running, the crew can do maintenance, we can leave the boat sitting here and not have any burning fuel or uh, have any emissions. This tugboat is full of surprises. The Robert Franco even comes equipped with powerful water cannons to fight fires. They've never had to use it in an emergency, but it's sure nice to have. 
The Robert Franco is an incredible piece of machinery, and Harley Marine Services continues to be not only a valued partner in the goods movement industry, but also an active community partner. A great company all around. The Robert Franco is named after the son of founder, CEO, and president Harley Franco, and now his daughter has one named after her as well. The Abra Franco can be found working in the Port of Oakland. After the break, we'll check out some major improvements to the rail facilities here at ITS and other construction projects here at the Port. Stay with us.